Right, so when working with director C, our question could give us any one of the following three things. It could either give us the director C's paid, or it could give us the fees that he's owed, or it could give us the total contracted fee. Here we go. Oops, I think that was a bit few. We could be given any one of these three things. I'll just excuse those slightly skew lines there. So let's assume that we are given the director's fees paid, and the question says 100,000 Rand has been paid to directors. And the 100,000 Rand paid represents. 20% of the total director's fees. Remember, a percentage should always represent 20% of something. So this is 20 of the total contracted fee. So my total contracted fee will be a 100%. The portion that is owed will then be the 100 minus the 20, which is going to give me my 80%. Right, so now you might be asked to do the general entries for a director's fees owed, in which case you will have to determine this amount here. How do we go about that? We take what we have, we multiply by what we need, and we divide by what we have at the bottom. Okay, we're just going to color the top part a different color. So let's just take out this. Yeah, so let's make the top part red. So the top part is what we need, the bottom part is what we have. Now this part here, you're gonna get from the actual figures that you've been given in the question. So in this question, we were given the 100,000 Rand that the director was paid. So you're gonna write here, 100,000 Rand is what we have. What does this 100,000 Rand represent? It represents the director's fees paid. Okay, and that is the portion that we actually have. The portion that we need, however, is this portion here. So we wanna know how much is owed to the director. So we've got the portion paid, we need the portion owed. So we take our 100,000 Rand from the actual figures, and then we're gonna go to our ratio and we're going to take the ratio that we need, which is the 80, and the ratio that we have, which is the 20. Right, so let's do that. So we're going to multiply by the ratio that I need, which is this 80. So I'm going to multiply by 80, and I'm going to divide by this ratio that I already have, which is the 20. And if I calculate that, that should give me this figure that I to the directors. So if I quickly put my calculator, let's put this thing on the calculator. I say 100,000 Rand is 3 times 80 divided by 20 equals 400,000 Rand. So I can put that in here 400,000 Rand. Right, and that is the director's fees owed to the directors. Now, of course, I could have been asked to calculate the total contracted fee. So how would I do that? Using the same formula, we could say, take what you have, and you multiply again by what you need. And this time, the figure that we need will be the contracted fee. So we'll still have the amount paid, but we this time will need the contracted fee. So that's the figure that we need. And what do we have at the bottom? We will have the director's fees paid. So from the ratio then, we're gonna take the amount that we need. This time the amount we'll need will be the 100, and we still have only the 20%, which represents this 100,000 rand there. So let's go for that one. We say 100,000 rand is what we have. We're gonna multiply that 
by what we need, which is 100 in this case. And we're going to divide by what we have, which is the 20. There we go. And that is going to give us our final answer, which is this figure. And that is, if you work that out on the calculator, you'll see it's 500,000 rand. Good. If this was mixed up slightly now, and we were given not the director's fees paid, but we were given the director's fees owed at the end of the year. So we're not going to be given the, the paid portion, we're going to be given the unpaid portion. How will we then go about our calculation? So let's see if we can do that. Capital columns. All right. So now we're saying we're not being given the amount paid, we're being, being given the amount owed. So let's say we owe this director 300,000 Rand. This then becomes the portion that we have. All right. And the question says that this 300,000 Rand represents, let's say, 60% of the director's salary. Good. So now the question asks us to calculate how much did you actually pay this director? So how will we go about that? Well, again, we always know that a percentage given is a percentage of something. So this percentage will be a percentage of the total contracted fee. So the total contracted fee will be a 100%. So we can fill in our 100%. And my director's fees paid will then be the 100 minus the 60, which is going to give me 40%. Good. So now I can apply my formula and I can again just take what I have and I can multiply by what I need and I can divide again by what I have. All right. So this part we get from our actual figures given. So the question said we have 300,000 Rand that we owe to this director and that represented 60%. Question is how much was paid to him? during the year. So we can say the question mark is what we need. So we're going to multiply by what we need over what we have and this we're going to get from the ratio. So what do we need? We need the director's fees paid. Alright, so we look at our ratio. That's going to be the 40. What do we have? We have the 60. Alright. So if we calculate that, that's going to give us our final answer. So let's quickly do that with a calculator. So we're going to say for all, and we say 300,000. We're going to say multiply by 40 divided by 60. And that is going to give me 200,000, which is the amount that we owed to the, uh, that we paid, sorry, to the directors. Good. Let's take the same question now, but this time just with a few changes. We're going to assume that we're not given the director's fees owed. We're given the total contracted fee in the question. So this will be the figure then that we have from the information. So let's assume they say the total contracted fee for the director is 500,000 Rand. Our formula says take what you have, which in this case would be the 500,000 Rand. So we can change this to 500,000 Rand. There we go. And we can make it 500. All right, so that becomes 500,000 Rand. And we're going to multiply this by what we need over what we have from this ratio. So our ratio stays the same. We know that the contracted fee is 100% and they tell us that we paid the di director 40% of his fee up till now. So what do we need? We need to calculate the paid portion, which is the 40. So we're going to say 40 at the top. 
this time what do we have at the bottom we've got the hundred at the bottom because that is the total contracted fee and that's going to give us the final answer of put that in our calculator 500,000 multiply by 40 divided by what is equal to 200,000 rand good so back to the answer our final answer then is Two, that's the same as two hundred thousand rand. Excellent.